He did that on purpose at the end, Golden Closet Film. So it's actually literally a closet film now. I hope you guys got that. Let's get it, boy. Get it, get it, get it. Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, it's Just Debut. Welcome back to my channel. Right now, I was editing in my studio and I got a notification just now from BTS. GCF in Newark VHS version. I've done already three GCFs on my channel already and people liked it because I give insights on what a actual editor myself, like a YouTube video creator, thinks about his editing styles and stuff and as an army. This already by the thumbnail itself looks different and I, can, I noticed that the frame itself is already different. It's gonna be something hip. But before we go on, I don't know how many of you armies will notice this hoodie but it was actually worn by Chung it's called the Johnny hoodie and uh, there's a picture of him wearing it and that's a big contrast over there but anyways it's pretty dope I really like it and I want to give a shout out to Hana Tochi who sent this to me Hana Tochi saw my channel and saw that I was an enthusiastic army so he sent me this beautiful hoodie so I can be like Jungkook when I'm reacting to GCF which is perfect. Thanks and shout out to Hana Tochi. Go check out their site because they sell good merch and they have international free shipping which is the best thing ever. So anyways, yeah, that is that. Actually, I have one more which is the RM security hoodie. Wait a sec. So here's the security hoodie here. RM wore this hoodie. It's, uh, I, I don't know. I like the honey mustard style, but I think I'm leaning more towards Jungkook's hoodie. And also they gave me the ability to give you guys a special discount if you go through that link. So please press that link down below if you are interested in buying any of these merch. And let's go into the reaction right now. Golden Closet Film, New York. So I guess this was filmed during his world tour. September 29th, 2018, yeah. Guess he woke up in the hotel room. Is this gonna be a vlog? Cause it's like 16 minutes long. Whoa, the video quality though, like VHS. Video home system, by the way, like the cassette tapes, you know, you used to record with your families. Hong Chong Zhou, clean up your room. V. <laughs> V's scolding Jungkook. He's like, I'm not kidding, I waited for you for five minutes. What do you think about that? What are your thoughts on that? Okay, so they're going somewhere. Whoa. This looks like New York, New Jersey in the 60s or something, just because of the footage. I don't, I don't know where he got this camera. Or is it, is it actually this like old, outdated camera? Or did he use a high-tech camera, but he just like downgraded the video quality? That's the question. Nutella. That's him. Like that. Hmm, very good breakfast. He kind of overburned the toast though. Nutella and bananas. Is he allowed to eat like that? Like, is that how he gets his six packs? Okay, I see RM, Jim in there, being squishy in the morning. Shinnamyeon. Oh, and there's like kimbap. V's glasses and style, oh my god! J-Hope looks tired. I mean, yeah, probably there. Jimin's eating bulldog. Fire noodles. Oh man. <laughs> V's like constantly scolding him like you should answer my questions if I ask you He's closing up. He's like fooling with his young Jimin's painful because of the fire noodles <laughs> That's a meme face That's gonna be a meme on Twitter for sure. I bet it's already out there. Mm. J-Hope said your case is cute. Oh, they have Nintendo Switch. Oh, there's Ugg. Ugg shoes. Getting ready for a rehearsal? BTS crew, yeah. Mic check, one, two, one, two. I'm fine, right? Oh, I just love V-style though. Like, how can we be... What? 
Prudential Center, okay. That was the location. The venue looks pretty big. Jump, jump, jump. Am I see? Did you see my bag? Did you see my bag? Get up, son. My inside, yeah. RM, looking Hollywood with those glasses. Wow, but this is gonna be a really good memory tape for all the members. It looks so hip. It's gonna feel so nostalgic just because of the footage itself. Fighting. Who's V texting? I wanna know that. I'm getting jealous. Jin. <laughs> That's sudden boxing though. So random. Truth untold. Oh. Must be so hard to sing every single time. Like, tons of songs. He's mm. <laughs> being funny. My favorite part of Truth Untold. <laughs> are they always like this or are they just doing this for the video? Oh, so polite, Jin. It's like a 75 degree folder bow. Baskin Robbins! Are they allowed to eat this stuff? I mean, I'm got, I'm motivated by Jungkook to do a diet, but <laughs> okay, that's gonna be a meme too. They're just generating memes in this video. Oh, that was Yungi. Oh, he's saying it's too sugary. Taking care of his health. <laughs> Yungi's gonna go sleep in the next room for sure. Uh, like his style. Kangol hat. Adidas jumper. I, I don't know if he really put those effects by himself. Oh, okay. Finally. I guess it's the early crew or is it the actual thing? Yeah, it's the early um, sound check, right? Oh, fake love! Acoustic version. Rock version. Jin looking so handsome. I don't know. It's a bot. Take a look. Take a look. Now I get the reason why people line up so early to get into the sound check. They can have like real interaction with the members. Okay, chika 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 chika. Oh, I saw the blurred out face of the uh, of the staff, so he really did some like after effects after filming this. It's just not plain video. Oh, 
It kind of smells. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. He just said, like, Jin intentionally did a 90 degree uh, bow because the camera was there. I pointed that out. And the members are shading him because he doesn't usually do that. <laughs> RM being cringy. He's like, let's be the Korean ambassador. I say sa, you say rang, sa, rang, sa, rang. Oh, they're doing like fighting. Everybody has to have a toothbrush shot. I think it's his friend. Whoa. Wow, the concert hall is huge. Wow, epic. So many armies. Oh, Idol's the opening, wow. Welcome to Mickey's World Tour. Love yourself here in America. In America. Magic shot. I saw me, I saw you. Oh, the game sound in Euphoria. I, I wonder who took the uh, the pictures, the film for this part, for the whole concert. I mean, I'm I'm curious if there was a staff that was actually dedicated for making this film. Like Jungkook personally gave it to a staff or a friend or whoever. <laughs> Or maybe, I'm not sure, or maybe they might have just used the normal footage from the normal camera and just downgraded it. Fire! Jimin! His pants are on fire. Ooh. Ha! Ha ha! Butewara! Ba ba wow! Oh, look at those leg movements! I mean, why am I watching in this like in in, in this like uh, 240p, 360p? P. They Bepse. They even did Bepse. Wow. I guess they do all their songs pretty much. Um, mic drop remix. Oh my god! I think I'm like up to a level of army that. I only listened to two seconds of the instrumentals and I know every single song. <laughs> what have I become? I'm Pound Man! Fun, fun. Beautiful memory, beautiful night. Let's go. So the finale has to be love yourself. Answer. Whoa. Thank you. Everybody's just like, ah! 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 <laughs> Wow, that must be like once in a lifetime experience. I envy you guys who went to the actual concert. I'm gonna try to catch the next one in Seoul, maybe.
at least a stage or a performance. Concert to Gnas. Jing Jing in a squid word. Lion King. Oh, Simba, Simba, the, the, the chimpanzee. Jungkook's like, are you gonna drink? Are you gonna drink alcohol? Oh my god, fans are waiting for them. So they drink champagne after their concert. Okay, wow. Oh my god, mountains of fans. A sea of fans on their way home. So that's how they see them. And V is just like playing games. After a concert, I would be exhausted. Like, how does he? <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? What's happening? Is he tired? I think he's tired. Oh, notice the time. It's 9.25 p.m. Wow. The whole day. So early, so late. Okay, they're in the elevator. Okay, now we're going to Give up. Give up. I mean, Jungkook has. Jungkook must have some passion and enthusiasm in filming. Like, look at this establishing shot. He went inside first and placed the camera and then went outside back and opened the door again. And this shot as well in the bathroom too. He put this in the bathroom first. So he's like basically acting in. Uh, it's a pre-planned video. I mean, not like pre-planned to the level of like he made a script or something. He just like did it on the spot. But anyways, the dedication here, like he put it in the closet first and then opened the closet. So like, it's admirable. It's so, I give him so much respect to do that even after a concert for like 10 hours or something. From morning to nine, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, that's a hip way to end the video. Oh, damn. After a whole concert, they must be like drained out of energy. You don't know how hard it is to film a video like that. You know, like it seems easy, but like these kind of thoughts occur when you, you're... So as I was saying, uh, you don't know how much uh, work or effort that goes into get that one shot because it's not much work if you think about it, but your mindset, it's just like me and the irrelevant guy on the other channel. When we're vlogging, we're just like, you want to get a cool shot? And then we're like, mm, I don't know, is it worth it that much? And then we just like skip it and just like go through the basic shots, like just do plain vlogging like this. But anyways, just like now, like my battery went out. And if it was Chungu, I bet he would have got his like norm, uh, extra battery and put it in his camera again to match the same video footages for the whole video. Like he used VHS. I don't know what camera he used or I don't know if he converted other footages into like uh, the same quality or something. But anyways, in this situation, he wouldn't have chosen to use the phone camera like I am doing because I'm too lazy to get my extra battery upstairs. Big, big respect to actually film this for the whole day. He's doing extra work. I'm sure Jungkook doesn't think of it as work, but if you think of it technically, comparing to other members, he's doing extra work. He's he's constantly holding a camera everywhere and filming the other members, trying to make a memory. So like really, really big respect. I mean, there's not much to comment about the video techniques or anything in this video because it's so raw and it's in VHS style. So the point is that to be raw, like true and be crude no fancy editing no anything 
It would have been better if he didn't blur out the staff members, but I think that's protocol and it's respecting the person, so I understand. And it gives you a feeling that you're sharing a nostalgic video together with BTS, like you're actually playing it on a cassette player in the age of YouTube. The fact that you can watch this on YouTube is pretty dope. On a digital online platform, you're watching a VHS video. 480 by 360, I think, like by the size of the frame. I haven't seen a video under 180p these days. Like there's even up to 4K and he's just doing exactly the opposite as others are doing and that is called hip. He's putting out new and new kinds of videos every time. I am very looking forward to what he will be able to deliver in the future. Like what kind of videos he'll be able to produce. And yeah, like, I don't know, maybe after he retires from the BTS activity, he's going to be a professional videographer or a director of a movie or whatever. It's really good to see him having this very healthy hobby that can keep him going, keep him motivated. It's pretty funny and entertaining to see all the members like just joking with each other, how the backstage looks like and what their life looks like from morning to night from the hotel room. I really like the establishing shot in the beginning because it gives you, it gives you this really, really raw feeling. Like it's not established. I just woke up. It's like his point of view. I think he did that on purpose at the end, Golden Closet Film. So it's actually literally a closet film now. I hope you guys got that. Big respect to Jungkook. I really enjoyed this. Even though this was 16 minutes long, it just felt like five minutes, honestly. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my reaction. I'm not gonna comment a lot about the video effects or anything because the essence of this video is the rawness itself we got to appreciate that and thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please like subscribe and comment down below and turn on your notifications because i will be doing a lot a lot a lot of reactions in the future too go follow me on instagram at justaven underscore 92 check out hanatochi and see you guys next time bye